Squawk, squawk, my fellow sorrowers. Past two days, I've done nothing but try to decrypt and decode these three ciphers. Okay. Um, I've been going through runes, um, uh, the witch's alphabet. When it comes to runes, I mean, as I said before, Viking, Celtic, Norse, Nordic. You know, even uh, Ouija board symbols, uh, the Tolment. You no, know, even even mathematical symbols. You know, the whole board. So I didn't want anything to be missed because I didn't know how important these ciphers are. Um, for I know they're not important at all. Maybe it's my imagination getting the best of me. Um, but I can't allow that to deter what the tears <laughs> may plan for the rest of us because it could be a hell of a lot worse than it already is. Yeah, so um, on that note, I'll show you what I've got. And I will warn you all, brothers and sisters, it's not good. <laughs> If it's even close to what I've put together, it's not fucking good. Um, then again, maybe I've got it wrong. First of all, before I start with the first chapter, first folder, um, I just want to say the biggest thank you for all my love and respect to Neil Armageddon Consciousness doing the research that he told me I know that he is. Um, and to good morning, tribulation, for the kind words, kind thoughts, kind feelings, and long, insightful messages you've been sending me. Um, I do believe he was right regarding some Hebrew texts as I've been studying up on myself, um, along with ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Another shout out would be to Time Together or Claire A. Thank you so much for your support in helping me try to the riddle enigma. I mean I've got a feeling that science gonna science coming. You know, and uh, I need all of your help, which I hardly ever ask for, because it's not fair a lot of the time, especially when I've missed this for so long. You know, the burden's on me, and I don't want to bring anyone else into it, but I appreciate all your effort. But please don't let that effort take up your energy because that's what this is all about. They're trying to energize these um, semiotics that they're broad spell casting. Okay. Hopefully I'm wrong. <laughs> Hopefully I'm wrong. I suppose we're going to find out, aren't we? So... <clears throat> I've completed the second cipher and I've completed the third cipher. Okay, it doesn't mean to say that what I've got is what it is, but it's the closest to what I can see and what I can read. Okay, but this first one, I haven't got all the bits and bobs together yet, but we'll start with it, of course. So, that's the first cipher that was shown on the BBC News. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight symbols, signs, from what I can tell, what's being shown. It's all a show and tell show. They want to get this out in the ether, you know. Mm. It's all karma to them. Thank you, Joy. It's all karma. Um, they show you, they tell you, and you don't see it, and you don't hear it, the burden's on you. 
that's what they do. That's how it works. So, first symbol is an S. It's actually a backwards S, but I can't find one backwards S in any semiotic code. However, we know that they reverse things as it is, so they've done it the same with the second one here, <clears throat> but we'll get to that in a moment. So, I believe this first symbol to be the sun. Okay. Now, this second one is called the Fasica Piscis. Okay. Now, as you can see, it derives from one section, another section, creating an intersection, giving you the third section. You know exactly what I'm getting at here, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Two factions becoming one. Yeah, the three base pairs. It's there, right? It seems to be swapped the other way, though, because on here, you can see it's this way around instead. Yeah. However, two five and seven are still missing all right so yeah different symbols from different alphabets from different cultures from different ages okay but all together from what i could work out the three missing pieces we have the sun bringing together the factions which would create power enough to digest and then purify the secret is this little harlequin diamond they put right on the end here it's on the first cipher it's also on the second that we'll get to in a moment so that's the best i've got so far on the first cipher Help. Oh, it certainly did help, Sorry. didn't you? Yeah, it oh. was. Yeah, so if you see any of what you believe would be the symbolism behind two, five, and seven, please do let me know. As I say, these are just. Up. Hopefully I am wrong. Hopefully I am wrong. Because this shit is banter evil. Yeah? Banter is the shade darker than black. So. Okay. Moving on, second chapter, salt, well that's water isn't it, which is the female in itself, okay. Here we have the seal of Saturn, lead is the metal of Saturn, okay, this is part of um, the alchemy element chart, okay. Sign for retort, freeze, man fortune and then the secret sign once again at the end it's like a stamp to them isn't it okay so all together you'd have the female saturn <laughs> machine mummy mean retorting the ice freeze so what perhaps something occurring in this winter coming up that's going to affect man human all of us and bring them much fortune okay just what i put together could be a hundred percent wrong i just hope i'm not a hundred percent right third cipher same semiotic here okay once again the vesica piscis okay so Joy found this one. I couldn't put it together for some reason. I've seen it a million times, but I couldn't remember where. The Omega signs. Right, this one's a bit hard to see. I'll get it up on its own so that so you can. But it's actually a mathematical symbol. It's the mean. Okay. 
thumbs up. This. Okay. So, followed by Truth Sword. Now, I put Not Worthy underneath because the upside down cross, the inverted cross, isn't actually as satanic as people believe. You see, when St. Peter was crucified, he felt he would be dishonouring Jesus if he had the same crucifixion. Therefore, he requested for his crucifix to be dawned and for him to be dawned upon it upside down, okay? Because he did not feel worthy, right? And last but not least, the symbol is for God or horned God, okay? So, let's put this one together. You have two factions meeting, visiting a friend, coming together, okay? To decide the end. Omega is the end, isn't it? The end of what? The end of the mean of the population, so the majority of the population, okay? Because, and why would it why would it mean mean the end for the majority of us? Because they believe that we are not worthy of the truth, which is their secrets. We are not worthy of what's coming. And what is coming? They're God. They're horned gods. We all fucking know who that is, don't we? As I said, to be a hundred percent wrong, I'd hope I'm not a hundred percent right. That's what I've got so far. All right. If there's anything else that you see, please bring it to my attention as I've brought these to yours. Because it really, truly, sincerely is imper it's imperative, pinnacle, and of the highest importance. If something happens, I want to know that we did our best to try and stop it. Okay. There's a difference in what I always say, which is resistance is assistance. The resistance would be to fight back, to give them what they're giving us, right? That helps them. This hurts them, all right? And hopefully we'll heal others. All right. So, um, oh, just before I end, that was another thing. I made a note so I wouldn't forget, and it's, I'm just glad I remembered. So, Better Together is uh, an, orga an organisation to help challenge teens deal with suicidal tendencies, thoughts and feelings, okay? So, Time Together, Claire A, one of my subscribers brought this to my attention, okay? It looks a lot like it at the beginning of, oh, uh, yeah, the, the, the end, sorry, of Cypher 1 and Cypher 2, right here. That's what the symbol looks like, okay? Again, here, all right? Now, I did a bit of research, and they're using a lot of sigil magic in these suicide organisations because they can harvest loose energy and lower vibrations. It's exactly what that scaly cunt Till Swan was doing, harvesting the loose energy from children, suicidal youth, because it's easier to get and there's a lot more of it to get. Okay. So I also noticed it's kind of like um, the lettering or the sensing of a book, you know, the, the two book endings, the two houses holding all this magic in. Okay, I think that's where they're going with this, all right? It's also the Samson initiative, okay? This means that if either house lose, the other one is just going to take the whole fucking world with them. We can't allow that to happen, can we? So we're not going to. I love you all, my sibling soldiers, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.